This is the partially complete crochet cushion cover done in puff stitch and I'll be showing you how to make it and how to join instead of doing seams I'll be showing you how to do it with tassels on the sides here and along here. Now if you don't want to use tassels you can also use big buttons and you'd simply sew that there and use one of the spaces in between each puff stitch as a buttonhole like that so it would pop through and sit on the top like that. Okay so we'll get started. So the materials you'll need is a cushion insert and I've just got an old one where the buttons popped off there so I'm just going to reuse it and put a cover over it and I'll be using a 5.0 millimeter hook and I've got eight ply yarn in the UK or medium worsted weight yarn for the US. I've got my yarn scissors and we'll be cutting tassels later on and if you don't want to use tassels you can use a button for the for the opening of the cushion cover. Okay, so for my cushion, it measures um, around 50, 50 chain stitches I needed to get started. But if yours is a different measurement, then you'd simply chain on as many chain stitches, which is going to cover the width of your cushion. So once you have an even amount of chain stitches, we'll be starting with a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So one, two. Then we're going to chain one. Skip the next chain and single crochet into the next chain. Chain one skip the next chain and single crochet into the next chain. And we're doing that so that we're leaving a space to do the puff stitch on the next row. So chain one, skip next chain, single crochet into the next. Chain one, skip next chain, single crochet into the next. So repeat that, chain one, skip next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch right along this foundation chain. We're up to the last stitch on the first row and I've chained one, skipping one chain and doing a single crochet into that last stitch there. Turn your work and we'll start on row two. Now for row two we'll chain three. One, two, three. And we'll be doing a nine loop puff stitch in the first chain space here. So you wrap the yarn over your hook, insert into that chain space, wrap the yarn over the hook, draw it through that space. Wrap the yarn over the hook, insert it back into the same space. Wrap the yarn over the hook, draw it through. Wrap the yarn over the hook, insert it back into that space. Wrap the yarn over the hook, draw it back through that space. Wrap the yarn over the hook, insert it into that space again. Wrap the yarn over the hook and draw it through. And now you should have nine loops on the hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And when you have your nine loops, wrap the yarn over the hook, draw it through all nine loops. Oops, and I've just dropped it. So through all nine loops there. And then to secure that puff stitch, 
do a chain and that tightens it up. Then we're going to chain one and we'll be moving into this next chain space between the single crochets and do another puff stitch. Here I've got my nine loops, wrap the yarn over the hook, draw it through all nine loops and secure it with a chain stitch and there's another puff stitch. Chain one, moving into the next chain space between the single crochets. I've got my nine loops, wrap the yarn over the hook, draw it through all nine loops, secure that with a chain, there's your third puff stitch, chain one, and puff stitch into the next chain space here. your fourth puff stitch. So you'd simply chain one and then do a puff stitch into the chain space and continue that right along the row. So when you're up to the last puff stitch on the second row uh, we'll be doing a double crochet into this stitch here. into the last stitch. And that finishes that row. So turn your work and to start the third row we'll chain one and we'll be doing a single crochet into this stitch here. chain one and a single crochet into this chain space here. Chain one, single crochet into the next chain space, chain one, single crochet into the next chain space and repeat that right along here. So it's chain one, single crochet into the chain space. Chain one, single crochet into the chain space. When you get to the end of row three, you do your chain space and then you're going to do a single crochet into the third chain, the top of the third chain. This is what it looks like so far. Now to get your work longer you simply repeat rows 2 and 3 as many times as required for the measurement of your cushion and when you've done that you'll finish off and what you'll have is one long 